If you don't like this current version of yourself, change. You are not set on stone. Reinvent yourself. Hey y'all, it's Christelle. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are meal prepping and juicing for my wellness journey. For those of you who don't know, that means focusing on high lean protein, eating in a whole foods plant forward. I didn't say plant based, like I do eat plant based alternatives. I'm dairy free and you know, I still have salmon, lean meats like chicken breast or turkey. High protein meals with low carb, low sugar because something sweet Something sweet kind of has a, well, it used to have a chokehold on me because we have to be careful with how we say things. But yeah, all in all, today we are meal prepping for the first time in a long time. And so come with me to do that. How I like to meal prep is instead of meal prepping and putting things in, I like to prep ingredients. That way I can just throw together a whole bunch of things that I like and make like a salad or like a, you know, like a wellness nourish bowl or like just throw stuff together that I want instead of eating the same meal every day. I know that a lot of people say meal prepping is boring. Oh, I couldn't eat the same thing every day. And because I haven't done it in a while, I don't really have much to say to that, but I know that all of those excuses can't hold up to the fact that I have to focus and prioritize on my wellness because if you don't make time for wellness, you're gonna have to make time for illness and we don't have time for that. So I'm young, this is my one life, my one body and to be quite honest, I have not treated it with as much love and care as I could and you know, part of it is my fault but you know, I, I could go on a whole rant about how everything is designed for us to eat unhealthily, how unhealthy options are cheap while healthy options are sometimes unaffordable like the system is rigged they want us to stay down and to stay unhealthy but i'm here to this sounds so like i don't know but i'm here to prioritize my wellness and i'm a beginner i'm not saying that i'm a meal prep pro but this is the way i'm eating this is the way i'm prepping of course my hands are washed for all the you know there's always going to be that one person but i'm super excited let's get started i really like this brand they taste very similar to the regular like parmesan and feta but they're dairy free nutritional yeast to coat to coat my tofu we have pb2 to save on calories because peanut butter is really good it's a good healthy fat but it has a lot of calories and not as much protein like this has six grams of protein for two tablespoons and only 60 calories versus like usually peanut butter is about 200 calories for the same thing so there's that i really like these simply um vinaigrettes because they're low calorie low sugar and then you can't go wrong with a yogurt this is good for smoothies overnight oats whatever it has it has 13 grams of protein so that's really good berries are really good fruit blueberries apparently like not so much but you know i like blueberries and i can have them in moderation berries in general are pretty good packed with antioxidants and really good for um just like a low sugar fruit option. I really like hummus and it was on sale, so period. I got some matcha powder, no sugar, two grams of protein, just good to have. I'm also gonna be juicing, that's the plan. So we have carrot, well I'll get back to that. Kombucha is a really good fermented food option. Like it's good to get your probiotics in naturally from food. And I love kombucha, but you have to be careful because a lot of them have a lot of sugar. This one is 50 calories per serving, but it only has 12 grams of sugar, but it's no added sugar. A lot of these will have up to 20 grams of added sugar, which is essentially juice. So be mindful of that. I got lower sodium chicken broth for my vegetables. I personally love garbanzo beans, chickpeas. I feel like they're good to just add to a salad really quick. Um, good healthy fats. Um, we have oats. I really should use rolled oats, but this is what we have. So I'm going to make some overnight oats. Add in some chia seeds for some extra, you know, pizzazz fiber. Now the green machine. Look at all these greens. I love, love, love bell peppers. Honestly, they're kind of sweet to me and they're just a nice crunch. Then we love broccolini. I'll probably have some of this today because it's going limp. And I'm going to roast some asparagus to eat for the week. And then we have cilantro and green onion. That's just to add, you know, some spice. Add a little bit of spice. I love these mini cucumbers. Really cute, crunchy snack. Um... I might just chop these up tomorrow to like give some extra time but you know good to have for snack and then i'll probably juice with these cucumbers fresh celery definitely going in my green juice and then we have mushroom period i'm gonna just saute them up so i can add them to whatever i want some apples for juicing this is 
some lemon, some ginger root, and we got some fresh turmeric root. That's good for my morning wellness shot, which I'll make in a blender. And then we got some beets because we're going to make a beet carrot apple juice. And then finally, when these are ready, I'm super excited because I feel like these are the avocados that look like they have master's degrees. So yeah, that's all we got. I'm not going to lie, it was a pretty penny, but what has to be done has to be done. And let's prep. The first time I made tofu, I did not realize like how like soggy it is. So make sure you're pressing it and letting the water drain. Put that there. We are gonna rest this pan on top of it so that the water, the liquid drains out. We're gonna put this to the side. The asparagus. Let's wash it and I'll come right back. I'm gonna line up the asparagus. And you can see it? Just gonna spray the pan. Line this pan with the asparagus. A little bit of pepper. Staple seasoning from Trader Joe's. Uh, and then just like that we're gonna put her in the oven time to do garbanzo beans this can opener took me forever to figure out but once i did it is undefeated okay hold on can't be embarrassed on camera once you make the full circle at the top you unlatch it and it comes right off. Nutritional yeast. Okay. And now, with citrus garlic. Here. So you can see. We're gonna cube the tofu gonna try and get it in four we'll keep these as is i'm gonna season these the same way i season the chickpea it through the middle tofu tastes like nothing so you have to season it put these in the oven first and then i crisp them up in the air fryer so tofu doesn't taste like anything like i was saying so i'm gonna just you know i'm gonna add citrus garlic and then I think we're actually gonna go for like a curry vibe. So I'm gonna add some curry turmeric. Spray it all down. Yes. Now we're going to make some mushrooms that I just like to throw on things. So we're just gonna saute up some mushrooms. We're just gonna finish up meal prepping breakfast. And then the good thing for like my dinners is like the meat just has to season and marinate overnight. So it's like prepping the meat to just throw and pop in the air fryer. So. Let's chop up some mushrooms and chop up some like veggies to snack on and then we're good. Six eggs, whisk it all together. She's a nice consistency. The recipe that I saw, we're gonna prep the ingredients first actually. So we have the eggs. Now we're gonna chop up some green onion. And then I'm gonna use the last of my dairy-free feta crumbles. Now let's prep some egg bites.
I was able to meal prep in an hour. We have our egg bites to grab and go every morning. We have tofu that will be a part of my lunch protein. I'm going to make a kale salad. I'll probably like prep the kale salad tomorrow as well as some veggies. It's like halfway done. We have mushrooms that we can just put anywhere. We have asparagus and we have chickpeas. So honestly, not bad. To make, I still have kale in the fridge that I need to make. I'm going to chop up some bell peppers to snack on as well as I have to make my juices. <laughs> so that's, I'm making a beet, carrot, orange, apple, ginger juice. Uh, I'm so excited already about that. And then I'm also going to make a green juice and lemon ginger shots. So stay tuned for the part two. That has been fun. I think that it's a great way to, you know, feel good. If you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. So if you're meal prepping, you're setting yourself up for a good week, make sure you eat it, not in one setting, but as you're supposed to. And yeah, I feel good about having ingredients that I can grab and go and just enjoy, so. Hey y'all, I'm back. I had to run some errands, but I really wanna start the week off right, so we're about to make our lemon, ginger, turmeric wellness shots at least, and then I think I'll chop up some veggies that'll be just really quick for snacks tomorrow, but yeah. I can't believe I believe Done juicing, meal prepping, all of that. 
guess what i had to do it over multiple days because i'm a newbie but i still love it i feel good when i drink my wellness shots every morning when i have my natural juice i have my beet like whatever juice i'll put everything that i use like it'll be either in the description or in the comments or on the video i also have my green juice like this makes me feel good and unfortunately y'all right like when you meal prep just having those ingredients ready and on hand is such a game changer for sticking to your goals for your wellness like like if you fail to plan you're planning to fail so i would definitely recommend if y'all have any juicing recipes or uh recommendations or anything i actually wanted to ask like what do you do with the pulp because the pulp look good like i don't know what i could use it for but i definitely want to get more creative with that and just experiment more with juicing and meal prepping and just any tips and tricks are all welcome thank you so much for tuning in i love sharing my wellness journey with you and i have lots more content on my page so if you like like this i hope that you check out my channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe much love always and i'll see you in the next video